Hey guys, Instapax here and today we are going to be doing um, the Injury Crisis Challenge um, which for those of you that don't know, you basically you start you take over the club in January um, as you can see in the top right hand corner uh, and you pretty much have to maintain the club's um, goals and work your way through the injury crisis as you can see there I have countless players injured um, some of them are going to be back soon some are not you know it's kind of one of them really um, but because it's January I have actually I previous I literally just simmed it to the first game for you guys um, but because obviously we have no strikers and they're all injured I have made a transfer offer for Lukaku which has been accepted um, I'm hoping that by the end of by the next game that will be have gone through everything else so hopefully that will work but because I have no strikers I'm not playing with one I'm just going to have to wait and see and see how it goes basically so we'll get the game underway hopefully by playing with no strikers I'll overload them in midfield be able to catch them on the break or something um, which is kind of maybe what I'm hoping but we'll see where we are in the league anyway we're currently 6th um, highest we could go is 6th Now, some would say this is a difficult challenge, but I actually find it quite enjoyable. Purely on the basis that you have next to no team, and you've got to manage it correctly. Um, try and get them all back. That kind of thing. As you saw there, we almost conceded a goal, but we did some resolute defending. So that's a positive in my eyes. Um, but yeah, like I said, I actually quite enjoy doing this challenge. I've done it on previous football manager games. Um, it's always been difficult but it's always also been enjoyable uh, right Herb. can you play there? yep and Herrera can come on I know he's not Herrera's not fully fit but And we almost get, we almost actually get the goal. <coughs> so I mean, guys, even though we don't, we're not playing with a recognised striker. We're actually, we we've actually done quite well against Chelsea, who have a fully fit squad. Especially when you consider that, other than my defenders. Fossi Mensah's a youth player, Harrop's a youth player, Will Willock's a youth player, Gribbon's a youth player, and Romero's a backup goalkeeper. So, we haven't actually done that badly. I mean, obviously, as you can see from the sub bench, which I'm just going to make a couple of those substitutions. Um, I have got Rooney and Wilson on there, and they are strikers. Um, but unfortunately they're injured I'm going to bring Williams on for no, Williams on for grabbing I know he can't play there but there's another defender on the pitch it means we're going to defend the lead well not lead, defend the um, point
which even though we got a point I have to admit guys we easily probably could have won this one and luckily by the looks of it we've actually come through on scale through no extra injuries but Costa and Bafoishi have now got injuries so that's kind of surprising well it's not surprising it's kind of funny really but there you go guys first game of this challenge and we get a draw so like I said we've got our kind of half youth team um, against a fully fit Chelsea team which I feel we did quite well there you go Herrera is now returned to full training so that's one more player we got back and we have signed Lukaku, so we now have a recognised striker, which is always helpful to us now. It also means technically I can't actually sign anyone else. I'm going to put Willock. No, Arab, I mean, there. Willock. I hate when he does this. Put Herrera. He's just still got a full energy. Lukaku's not even. Oh man. Okay, so. <laughs> not really a lot I can kind of do with this one, so I might put Fossi Mentor there. Jones there. Because he can play CDM. Uh, Damien, where Lingard is, and then Varela in for Lingard. As much as I don't want to, I'm going to put Lukaku on the sub bench. <coughs> if I need him, I can bring him on. So, yeah, guys, second game of the injury crisis challenge. We drew 0 0 in the first game, obviously, as you all saw. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we get on with this one, hopefully. We can get another draw or even a victory. Oh, no, it just, oh, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Another, fight, another bloody injury. not the start that we wanted. I was hoping to avoid getting any more injuries. And they're playing a 3 4 3. So, yeah, we almost get the goal there. We seem to be doing quite well with the chances created. Um, considering we have, like I said, we have no recognised striker. And we get a goal. Antonio Valencia. Which that still keeps us in the same position we're in, but it keeps us in touch with the top four. we we'll get the second half underway and hopefully we can defend this lead and maybe even get a second goal to pretty much confirm that we're uh, we got the full three points Only thing I will say in regards to this particular challenge mode is it would have been nice to have at least one 
minimum one player for each position uninjured. So like, obviously I've got no strikers. It would have been more ideal if they'd injured all of them except one to at least leave you with one player that can play in the position. I know obviously like the chat it makes it more difficult or in my eyes it kinda of makes it more fun. Because of the facts like with with this particular challenge mode I've got no strikers that are injured or recognisable. Um so obviously I've had to play without a striker. Hopefully by next game, because I didn't realise I had a game this quickly, um, we are going to be able to play with a recognised striker because Lukaku should hopefully have recovered and have enough energy to actually take part in the next game. And we get a second goal. Herrera with a beautiful volley from 20 yards out. That is near enough guaranteed the victory for us. And there you go guys, we win that match 2-0. <coughs> <coughs> Harrop is out for 10 days, which is a serious injury because I haven't got any other players really, other than Lingard, that can play that game. And we James Wilson has now returned, so that gives us two strikers. And Lingard has also resumed full training as well, so that will cover Harrop's injury and we have it now have a game against Middlesbrough I'm just going to clear and pick a team so we're just going to alter the formation slightly I'm just going to put Lukaku up there on his own seeing as he's, he's the main target man so he can play that game uh, play that game play that position I'm actually even considering, well I say considering, calling him back, but unfortunately he's injured as well, um, I'm thinking I might actually just start Rooney to give Herrera a bit of a rest, I'll bring him on if need be. So yeah, third game of this challenge mode guys, we have a game against Middlesbrough and Lukaku is making his debut. Come on, Lukaku got bloody injured already. He's not fully injured, but... Ah, uh, that's what you get for being offside. Alright, so I can take Rooney off and Lan Lukaku gets the goal. Beautiful, beautiful goal on his debut. But I was literally just about to say that Valencia and Rooney are going to have to come off and probably Lukaku by the looks of it. So I'll bring Wilson, Herrera and... I don't know, whoever else I've got on the bench. So... No, Varela. Varela can come on. Herrera for Rooney. Wilson for Lukaku. So yeah, we'll start the second half, guys. Hopefully, carry on with the winning ways so far. We've actually done quite well, considering we had, like I said, in the first two games, no recognised striker.
and we do. Wilson gets the second goal of the game. All I've got to say is, ha ha, Middlesbrough. <laughs> well, to be honest, ha ha to every team that I've played so far. You know, they've got fully fit squads, I haven't, and yet I've beaten two of them and drawn. So that now moves us up to fourth. But Tottenham have got two games in hand and Liverpool have one. Hopefully Liverpool lose it so we can stay in fifth. Tottenham hmm, not really sure about them. They might, they might not. As we approach the end of the game, guys, as you can see, we've definitely got the victory today. So, yeah, we, we, we've done quite well so far. And I'm just going to advance to the next game so that we can see whether anyone else comes back. And as you can see, Rooney has returned and eased the injury crisis, but... Jones is now out injured for a month, which is clearly always very helpful. Let's have a look on the transfer position, defender, centre. I haven't really got a lot left, so I'm not really able to buy anyone brilliant, but. I might just have a look at contract status, no club. Uh, any transfer status list for loan. Nope. Not transfer listed. Uh, okay, so yeah. We're another defender down, but we're going to see how we get on. Literally just advancing purely because I want to see if anyone else uh, comes back from injury or resumes full training, really. There you go, and Schweinsteiger's back now as well. Harrop's resumed full training. So, yeah, I'm going to end this video here, guys. Remember, if you like the content, then please leave a like and subscribe. Till next time, see you later.